Hi, welcome to the CPEX booth at WEFTEC in New Orleans 2012. My name is Todd Cranford, work for CPEX Incorporated based out of Enon, Ohio. CPEX is a global manufacturer of progressing cavity pumps, macerators, and control systems. So what we want to do a little bit uh, here today is show you what we have in our booth. We'll start with our latest innovation, the smart conveying technology. We asked the market what they wanted and what they wanted for the progressing cavity pumps, progressing cavity pump users. They came back pretty much unanimously saying, make them easier to work on. That's what we've done with the smart conveying technology. What CPEX has done is really two things. We've split the stator in two pieces and we've added a quick disconnect for the rotor inside of the pump. What this allows you to do is change the two most common wear components in any progressing cavity pump without touching any pipe work, suction or discharge. Another great feature of the SCT or smart conveying technology is since we have split the stator in two pieces and taken away the conventional metal tube, we now have a design that as the stator wears, you can compensate for that wear by tightening the four adjusting segments around the pump. So as your stator wears over time, be that a year, three years, five years, conventional stators, you would now need to change the stator. Now you're able to come in and retention and tighten down the adjusting segments to get your original compression back. Those, the heart of the design of the SCT is ease of maintenance because that is what the market wanted and that's what we're giving them with this product. What we have here in our booth is something a little newer for CPEX. As we grow here in the United States, we're starting to get more and more uh, into control systems. What we're looking at here is a chemical feed skid, in particular for sodium hypochlorite. It's a metering skid. The entire unit has a halar coated base. We use PVC, CPVC piping. We have all the conventional controls and alarms such as run dry protection, such as overpressure protection. Uh, there's a lot of add-ons you can have with the control systems. Uh, this particular pump is a very popular pump for us, pumping bleach or sodium hypochlorite. It has plastic housings on the pump here and here titanium rotor and shafting for the internals, a titanium mechanical seal. So uh, we, it's long since for CPEX in the, in the United States, uh, a great pump for the pumping of bleach. Now we offer not just the pump, but the entire chemical feed system package as well. Next in our booth, we have the CPEX cake pump system or dewatered biosolids pumping system. What we are showing in the booth today is the entire system package, or essentially what it is, is a closed loop system, control system with the pump, that will simply react to whatever amount of cake comes to it. We have some simple little tie-ins with other controls, be it from the belt filter press, or the centrifuge, or the filter press, such as alarms. If we alarm, we want the dewatering device to alarm as well. This system is set up to react to what comes to it. That takes out all the variables of trying to tie your pump speed to some variable on the dewatering device. We now have a closed loop system that reacts to what comes to it. The way we do that primarily, flow control wise, is the use of load cells. What we're doing with the load cells is we're taking a weight of the sludge in the hopper and scaling that to the speed of the pump. So as the weight of the sludge or the level of the sludge rises in the hopper of the, part of the pump, the pump automatically speeds up. As the weight or level in the hopper goes down, the speed of the pump automatically goes down. We also get on and off, pump on and pump off from this load cell system. What we also have in this system are the required shutdowns or alarms that you want in a cake pump system. We have our CPEX dry run protection system. You never want to run a progressing cavity pump dry, but when you do, you need some type of system to automatically alarm. Otherwise, your stator is cooked. 
and it's time to replace the stator. We have over pressure protection here, in this case an isolation ring with an effector pressure transmitter for over pressure alarm. As you know, as you pump cake through pipe, you can get a lot of pressure built up in that pipe fairly quickly. CPEX is and wants to be involved with your pipework design, with the diameter of your pipe, the types of elbows you're using, the other things on your piping network. Cake pumping uh, takes a lot of expertise and CPEX certainly has it. And now we're offering the complete package control systems and all for cake pumping. CPEX, as I mentioned before, is more and more into control systems. With our recent expansion at our Enon, Ohio factory, we now have also expanded our control systems group. This is one of the initial things uh, that we tasked that group with. It's a standard CPEX pump local control panel, or LCP. Most consultants and most users typically are not as familiar with the type of load that a progressing cavity pump is, particularly on a variable frequency drive. That load has to do with a very high starting torque, and after the pump begins to turn, the torque drops, but is then a constant torque after that. A progressing cavity pump poses some issues for the control systems that we, of course, as a progressing cavity pump manufacturer, know very well, but others do not. So what we've done here is we've taken a control panel on LCP, a standard design, incorporated that expertise for the control of a progressing cavity pump with, as I've previously mentioned, dry run protection and overpressure protection, motor overheat protection. Those things are vital for a good operating progressing cavity pump system. This is a standardized CPEX control system for what would be, for instance, a thin sludge, be it water or wastewater sludge, a thin sludge pump. What we have here in the booth is a standard or stainless steel dosing pump of a particular size. What we're showing with this model is really the drive, not so much the pump, but the drive. This is what we call our IVD, or our integrated vector drive. This drive consists of a gearbox, a motor, and a VFD all in one tight little package. The VFD takes a 115 volt single phase input. In fact, the unit comes with a five foot cord with a three prong plug on it. You can plug it in at any wall outlet. What this drive does is allows you to operate it either locally in hand, whereas the speed control will be by the 10 turn speed potentiometer right there on the unit, or it allows you to move to automatic operation and follow either a four to 20 signal, some type of signal for your speed control. The unit comes standard with some items on the back side of the drive you can't see so much now for simple plug-in with turret connections, plug-in for dry run protection on the stator, which is our most common option for any pump we produce overpressure protection as well. Those simple plug-ins are already pre-designed uh, into the drive unit here for simple connectivity uh, in the field. Thank you for visiting our booth here at WEFTEC in New Orleans. You can reach us on the internet at cpex.com.